it's me, Mallory Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. As you can see by the title, we are talking about my 14-day worm and parasite tea talks from High Frequency Tea. So I literally just finished this yesterday and I wanted to jump on and do some frequently asked questions and kind of give my experience. I did ask on my Instagram and my TikTok for questions, so I do have that. And I asked you guys if you prefer a sit down or a vlog. Um, you guys said both. So this will kind of be a little bit of a combination. So in the description box, I will have timestamps for each question and I'll put any relevant clips or videos or anything in with that as well that may help. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, as I said, the exact tea talks that I'm doing and I'll link it as well. This is from High Frequency Tea is the name of the company. It is the 14 day version of their worm and parasite tea talks. They do have a 21 day as well. I wanted to try the 14 day just to get a feel for it before I committed to three weeks. So when you get the actual herbs in the tea talks, this is how it comes. They're just loose in a bag. So you will need like a little tea strainer or something like that, or you can just strain your tea after. And then you also get a bottle of the deep cell and mitochondria repair pill and the gut repair pills. So all that comes with your detox. So in addition to that, you will get this little card in your packaging. This is your schedule of how you will do the detox. It has the time you'll drink the tea, the time you'll take the pills, everything right here. Um, they also have a little video QR code where you can see how it's done. And then on the back, which I really like, they have the um, grocery list. So all the veggies, fruits, grains, seasonings, everything that you can use which brings me into the raw vegan portion of my detox it does say that a raw food diet is highly recommended and because i really wanted to get the most out of the detox i did raw vegan for the two weeks i went ahead because i'm an overachiever i just typed out my little menu just so i could know like when i'm hungry what i can have what i can grab what i can go to really fast so that's how i organized it for me that's just a general intro of what the detox is and what I did. Okay, so two questions. Question number one, what motivated you to start the high frequency tea 14 day worm and parasite detox? So for me, I had a few different reasons. My birthday is this month and I'm always trying to reset and be my best self by the time my birthday comes. And that meant being at my prime health. As I get older, that's a really big thing for me. So this felt like a good way to kind of reset. I'm also, um, I was getting off of birth control, getting off of anxiety medications. I kind of wanted a holistic way to reset my gut and my body and to change my diet and change my relationship with alcohol and things like that. So this just, for me, seemed like the best way to do that. Next question, how did you prepare for the detox? So as I said, I had this and I had this and I really took serious to kind of grocery shopping in advance, making sure I had everything I need. And also the week before or so, I kind of weaned myself off of anything that I thought I might want. So I wasn't eating really crazy or I was trying to not drink a lot just so I could prepare my body so I wouldn't go into shock per se. How many times a day did you eat and were you intermittent fasting? So I ate, honestly, I kind of ate all day. Because you're eating so light and so healthy, I didn't really do it like, I tried to say, you know, three meals a day, but if I was hungry, I ate. I had snacks prepared, so I really ate all day. And you do do intermittent fasting with the program. So it has that your um, recommended eating windows. I'm sorry, I live downtown and they're cutting grass and doing trash outside and everything. Your recommended eating window is between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. It does say that you can adjust this based on your schedule, so if you're a night worker, that kind of thing. But I try to kind of stay within that 11 to 7 or 10 to 6 window for me. Next question, what were your initial thoughts and feelings during the first few days of the detox? Did you experience any headaches? I'm gonna go ahead and put my reaction clip in to the first time I tasted the tea. Oh, that's really strong. Okay, that's really strong. I have a certain, I have like two hours to drink it. That is very, it's not tart, it's like, chug it. Oh my gosh, why does it taste like that? So my first thoughts, the tea tasted crazy. I drink a lot of tea and I drink a lot of health 
based tea so they do not always taste good i was it was like a tangy people say bitter but it was more like sour i don't know i didn't like the taste of the tea um but somebody who was on day 17 messaged me and told me the trick so you buy the lemon and drink through a straw that literally made the biggest difference and i was able to finish it within minutes the rest of the time and i didn't have any headaches or withdrawals because that's all the headaches are i don't drink soda um i don't drink coffee every day i feel like those are the kind of things that if you eat candy every day drink soda every day drink coffee every day you'll be withdrawing from but for me i didn't have any headaches or anything like that so my first couple days honestly i was kind of like this is easier than i thought i thought i was really gonna be struggling how did you manage social situations and dining out during this period honestly at first i told everybody do not invite me anywhere i'm hiding in my house i'm taking it serious don't go anywhere as it progressed i did end up going out for my friend's birthday i got a mocktail i ate before and i just had self-control you really do learn mental discipline which is another big reason that i did this i really wanted to test myself i love food appetite suppressants don't work for me because my hunger i say is not in my stomach it's in my mind i can be completely full and my brain will be like you know that catfish would taste good right now so i just stuck through it i went to a tailgate on, over the weekend over my last weekend burgers hot dogs alcohol taking shots fried catfish my favorite to go hibachi place i just knew what i wanted to do i knew this was temporary and i remembered the bigger goal at hand that's how i stuck to it in social situations and the people around me respected it i told them what i was doing so nobody was offering me chicken nobody was offering me a shot everybody knew what i was doing so prepare your community have your support system and let them know what you're doing so they can support you in that way what were some of your favorite raw vegan meals and recipes so while i was doing this i also watched food documentaries to kind of curb or ward off any thought i might have of food one of the things that stuck with me the most is most of the time when people do diets they think of food groups so you're like oh, i just gotta eat vegetables and fruits versus thinking of dishes so, oh, I love tacos, I love hibachi, and I love Nigerian suya. I still ate that. I had raw hibachi vegetables, one of my favorites. I made raw tacos, one of my favorites. Suya, I just had the garnishes that come with it, which are tomatoes and onions, and I had the suya seasoning. Like, I still ate the dishes that I like to have. I knew for me, if I literally just tried to eat a bowl of vegetables that I didn't like, didn't season, it wasn't gonna work. So my favorites were probably, like I said, the hibachi, the tacos, I love this soup that I made, it was just tomatoes and peppers. And I also had this rainbow wrap that I really liked that was like mango, carrots, kind of, I'm a sweet and savory person, so that was a really good wrap for me to have. Would you recommend the high frequency detox to others? Why or why not? Absolutely, this is not paid. This is not a sponsorship. I would love to partner with them to share this with people, but this is not paid at all. I'm absolutely doing this again. Even if I don't do the exact tea talks again, uh, which I probably will, I'm going to do with the goal of doing one week raw a month. There is a influencer, um, I think it's I'm Candy is her name or what's her name? I'll put her Instagram below. She has a raw week book. She does raw week constantly. She has a whole page about eating raw. I'm absolutely doing this. I felt energy. I have a completely different relationship with food and how I look at food. Highly, highly recommend investing yourself and just give yourself two weeks of just focusing on you. I detox. I had. I only drink water from the Healing Springs. Um, I watched what music that I listened to. I didn't watch reality shows. I kind of had a routine of just being peaceful and doing my yoga and praying in the morning. I really wanted to detox wholly. And the tea talks was just a really good way to kind of kickstart that. Do you plan to continue incorporating elements of raw vegan into your diet? Absolutely. There are certain vegetables that I have like sweet corn that just tastes good raw. And I just like the benefits of it. Like when you cook stuff, you cook out a lot of the nutrients. So even if I can make something like a bowl, a Southwest bowl, fully cooked and then just sprinkle some raw vegetables on top, like that can make a difference. Honestly, my plan was to go pescatarian after this i bought salmon and tuna and everything i as of now am planning to definitely be plant-based um i don't want to give myself the title in the box of vegan per se but i have looked into a lot of, i've looked into a lot of vegan recipes i have a vegan festival i'm going to next weekend i'm saying plant-based because i'm not gonna be super strict about like plant butters or certain stuff when i'm out but 
I'm definitely incorporating. This week, actually, if someone knocks, it's probably them. I'm actually getting my factor meals, which I did a video on factor. Um, I'm getting some factor meals delivered for this week, and they are vegan. So, right now, I have no desire to eat meat. It doesn't even seem appealing to me. With the documentaries, I'm actually kind of grossed out when I see it, so I don't see myself eating meat anytime soon. What advice would you give someone considering a similar detox or dietary change? Plan ahead, plan ahead, plan ahead. If I didn't have snacks or if I didn't pack all my food with me for this weekend and I just relied on other people, if I'll find something or I'm in the car, or, well you're out in the car and you're driving around and you're hungry, it's not really anywhere you can stop unless you're stopping at a grocery store. So keeping fruit in my bag, like just plan ahead and know your lifestyle and know what works for you. If you have kids or you work an outside job, you don't work from home, you're going to have to prep. Maybe it's soups you have to prep, maybe it's bowls you have to prep, but if you, cliche, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's my advice. Um, how did you stay motivated? That's kind of the same as before. I knew what I wanted to do. Also, when that scale started moving, because I am down 11 and a half pounds. When that scale started moving, that was big motivation for me. Like, I wanted to keep, I want to keep it going. I Let's keep the momentum going. What resources or support systems were most helpful during this experience? Pinterest, when people ask me about recipes, Pinterest, 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 Pinterest. TikTok is huge if you're looking at vegan, raw vegan recipes. Um, what the Health on Netflix was probably my favorite documentary that I watched. And then again, my friends and family knowing what I was doing and being able to say, I'm proud of you. Or I got you some green smoothies because I know you want something. Um, can you have, you know, sparkling water and a wine glass when we do girls night? Like just being supportive of me was really big for me. I didn't want to hold you guys too long. Um, because this can get, I can ramble and this can get, a, it's a lot of details and a lot of information. But I didn't feel like when I researched, I saw a lot of, either a lot of information or a lot of new information for the T-Tops and this brand specifically. So I just wanted to share my experience. I really enjoyed it. Any pros or cons? I mean, cons, you do have to invest, but they do have Klarna and Afterpay. I don't remember which one, but you can split it up into four payments. So that's super helpful. Um... I don't really have any cons. I was at the grocery store a lot, so I would just say plan ahead. Like, cause it get a, it can get expensive if you're just buying and trying stuff all the time. Pros, all the above. My skin looks great. I had energy. Um, I am off my birth control and everything like that, and I feel fine. Oh, this was a question that I got a lot. I'm gonna add this to the questions list. Did it make you go to the bathroom a lot? Um, yes and no. I don't feel like the tea had me, I wasn't like running to the bathroom often. I honestly thought it was going to be like, take that laptop in the bathroom, you're not leaving anytime soon. I know this might be TMI, but this is why we're here. Um, I feel like it was normal. If you eat a lot of vegetables and you eat healthy, you know what I mean? But it wasn't anything that would make me feel like I couldn't have gone to work or I couldn't have went anywhere that day. So yes, you do go to the bathroom, you're cleaning that stuff out, especially if you have maybe eaten more unhealthy or you have more to clean out, but it wasn't as volatile as if you've done like the tea, the cleaner or Keisha K or tea or something like that. It wasn't anything crazy like that. Um, so I don't really have any cons, but I know that was a question I got a lot. But yes, I'm keeping this short and simple. I just want to give y'all like 20 minutes or less about my experience. If you have any questions at all, literally, people who have done that have been so helpful with me. So if you have any questions, Drop them in the comments below. I'm very happy to answer. Um, I will absolutely be doing this again. I hope this was helpful. I hope somehow this helped you. If you're leaning towards doing it, I say yes. If you're here, you probably have thought about it. Yes, do it. And I will see you in the next video.